It's too late. Time to go to bed. Aw, please, Mom, please. Just let me read one more page, Mom. The mighty hero. Hey, are you at home, good sir? What do you want, good lady? Oh, good sir, there has been a great disaster. What, was a barn burnt out again? No, not a barn. The three-headed fire dragon has eaten all the harvest. I see now. Wait, let me go ask my mom if I can go fight the dragon right now. Yes, get on your way, good lady. I'll go and bring two fellow heroes with me as soon as I can. After all, we're called the Three Mighty Heroes. Quite a big dragon this one is. Let's strike him with a club while he's asleep. Maybe he'll fly away in fear. Who is going to strike with a club then? Oh well, we woke him up and now we'll have to fight him. Hey dragon, come face us in a fight. We'll have no mercy for you. No mercy. And who are you exactly? Listen, I really can't see you well at all. We are the three mighty heroes. Hey, actually, we are two heroes and one heroine. Oh, hi, guys. I'm here. Oh, look, it's him. He ate everything while we were asleep. Don't bother whispering. I can hear everything. <sighs> hey, are you spitting on us or what? What? Oh, help, a fire. Uh, take that! Oh, oh, oh it hurts! Oh, 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 take that! Oh, well, all right then, I guess we'll be going. Have a great weekend. Dragons say to each other, make friends, make friends, never, never break friends. Okay then, the dragon is taken care of. Let's go and give a ticket to the witch for polluting. That's true! <laughs> hey guys! <laughs> Have any of you seen the golden fish around here? Well, she owes me one thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Here's a poacher, guys! Take charge of him, come on! Oh, look there! Cinderella is right behind you! What? Where? Where? Where's Cinderella? What a fraud he was, guys. Who could expect this from a graybeard? Little cabin, could you turn your face to us? Your back is to the forest. Oh dear, but this is my face. I just don't look so good today. <laughs> I've got the flu. Forest witch, come out and surrender. You can't hide away from us. We can see your wooden legs stretching out of the window. Oh dearie me. She doesn't live here anymore. She moved out yesterday, actually. <laughs> it isn't the witch's leg, it's Pinocchio's leg. He's living here now instead of her. Oh dear, <laughs> no, we're late again. It must be Sleeping Beauty sleeping. Let's wake her up. Because with her snoring, she won't let anybody else sleep for a long time. Who is the Sleeping Beauty here? <laughs> I'll show you the Sleeping Beauty. Who would have known it was a giant? They all snore like anyway. Qua, qua. Hey, that's my arrow. I've been looking all over for it. Do you speak froggies? How can I tell her? Why is she winking at me? <clears throat> my dearest, uh, Qua, qua. His arrow, Qua, qua, is mine. Thank you so much, Qua, qua. Oh, my Prince Charming, my beloved fiancé. Hey, I want a fair princess too. Ethan, Ethan, are you asleep? Ethan! Tell me, are you asleep, sweetie? Oh, where is my fair princess? Oh! <laughs> Let's tell each other about our future dreams when we grow up. You start, Vera, what do you want to be? I'll become an emergency doctor. Just imagine this. Ethan catches a cold, and I tell him, you should breathe in, and now you should breathe out. Huh? Um. <gasps> Hello? Is this doctor breathe in, breathe out? Breathe in, breathe out. Where's the patient? Here you are. Now breathe in, breathe out. What's your problem? Open your mouth, uh, say ah, uh, say ah. Uh. Uh. 
Very good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Dear sir, your nose is running severely. We will give you the best medicine. Breeze out, you're quite a doctor. And what is your dream, George? I will be a famous scientist who makes a really great discovery. Just imagine this, guys. As you can see with the simplest equation right here, we shall conduct this experiment. But there is just one question. <gasps> Please note how successfully this object splits into two. <clears throat> Thereby, dear colleagues, we may put this matter to rest. My lecture is over. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very cheerful lecture. And what about you, Ethan? And I? I want to be an illusionist and a hypnotizer. Imagine this. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. <laughs> And now, Abracadabra! Oh, <laughs> hey, where am I? You are sleeping. I don't feel like sleeping, but I am hungry. Your eyelids are heavy. You are falling into a deep sleep. On the count of three, you'll be sleeping soundly. One, two, three. What kind of hypnotizer would fall asleep in his own performance? Oh, why can't we make ourselves useful even in our own dreams? Hey, kids, why are you so sad? We told each other our dreams of what we would become when we grow up. And then in the dreams, everything went wrong for us. It's because we're good for nothing, right? Don't feel bad, guys. When I was a kid, my music would scare away all of the trolleykins in town. Then I studied hard, and eventually I made it. I think I will start with going back home and doing my school homework for today. Today, at long last, my daddy is coming from a long haul trip, Anthony. We always celebrate his coming back home from long trips. Celebrations are nice. I only like vaccinations more than celebrations. Oh, what time is it now? I really don't want to be late. Follow me, Anthony. You shouldn't go first, Ethan. It could be dangerous. <laughs> I'm faster. Stop, Ethan. Wait, there's an underground crossing here. Oh, you forgot the traffic rules. Who needs those traffic rules? Uh. Uh. Huh. And right at all. Good afternoon. Oh. Hey. <laughs> but Ethan, you can't park over there. Oh, it's your rules again, I see. Where can I park my trailer then, huh? Follow me, Anthony. Stop! Huh? You can't go through a red light. It's dangerous, Ethan. You could get hurt. Rules again. 
It's so boring when you follow every rule. You can't even play touch and run. And that's one of my favorite games. So you lose out all because of your boring rules. Oh, I made it. Huh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, no, no, not the sparklers. Oh. Yay, sparklers. Where is everybody? There are no guests. No surprises. Tell me, where are the carnival masks? Where are the balloons? Where are the sparklers? And where are all the fireworks? Yes. Delivery service isn't doing well. Trains are supposed to follow the schedule, There must right? be something out of the ordinary if they're not here as of yet. <gasps> huh? Something's really wrong. Uh. <gasps> I think that I know what the problem is here. <sighs> well, here come all of the guests. Here are the surprises. <laughs> it's good that we had some reserves. Ethan, now you know why everyone needs rules. It's essential. <laughs> rules are needed in order not to cause others to suffer. And also, the surprises that you made for your dad will not cause the suffering of other trains either. <laughs> <laughs> Vera, what are you doing here? The flowers on the other side. Mm. Look how beautiful they are. They're amazing. Mm. Hey, George, you're the smartest one here. Maybe you know why there are no such beautiful flowers on this side. This is the mystery of nature. Is it an unsolvable mystery of nature, George? Scientists have been working on that for a long time. But for now, uh, there's no answer. Too bad. I dreamt to have a bouquet of those beautiful flowers one day. Red, yellow, blue flowers, and violet ones. Why do girls love flowers so much? It's strange. Ethan, let's go. Hmm. Huh? Hey, George, I really, really want to pick those flowers for Vera. But how? I will jump over the river. Hmm? Huh? It's called a springboard. A springboard? Yes, that's right. I will go up and land on the other side of the river. It's risky, but my mind's made up. <gasps> George, what are you doing? Ethan, I remembered. There's a bridge already that goes over the river. Why didn't you tell me about it? The bridge is very old, and it's very dangerous to use it. Okay, well, where is it? It's not a good idea. <laughs> Ethan, let's not do this. Don't be afraid, George. I'm a small train, and the bridge will hold. At least I think so. Oh! <gasps> I didn't think that Ethan was so brave. I didn't. Now, that's not what I would call bravery. Well, can't you see how unstable it is? Huh? I would never do it in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is the bouquet for Vera. She'll be oh. so glad to have it, I'm sure. Hey, Arnold, come back! <laughs> You're not the only one who's brave, Harry. And... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. It's fine. You would do the same if you were me, Arnold. I'm sure of it. Sure, but you lost the bouquet because of me. Never mind, it's okay. I'll pick some more. How can you do that when the bridge is broken? I know, but Arnold is ashamed anyway, and I said that so he wouldn't feel so guilty. He feels bad enough as it is. 
Ethan, George, look at my hmm? beautiful bouquet. It's made of flowers from the other side of the river. Where did you find it? I was sitting by the river, and the flow brought it right to my side. I guess someone made this bouquet and accidentally dropped it into the river. Hmm? Oh. Ugh. Now I believe that all dreams sometimes come true. Ethan. Yeah? I wanted to tell Vera that it was you who made the bouquet. What for? Why does she need to know who made it for her or if it was or wasn't made for her? Her dream came true and that's what's important. Break anything? I'm fine. Well, soccer's not for sissies, you know. I'll go after her. Vera, wait for me. Do you want me to teach you how to play soccer? No, I really don't like ball games. There are many more games and sport activities. I'll show you. A springboard, the most simple and the biggest fun. Yeah, I'm the champion in springboard jumping. Watch me! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Flying up and down is not for me. What else can you show me in sports? <laughs> Who needs a skate? We have our own wheels. Vera, check me. No, chess just isn't for me. You may want to try a ball game after all. The practice begins now. Vera, you are a natural goalkeeper. <laughs> All right then, the game is on. Well, soccer is not for sissies, you know. We shall see about that. your friends. And now we've got an awesome goalkeeper. One, two, three, four, five. Ouch! Oh. Stop it right now. We are going to gather a team together. A soccer team. Oh, 
Wow, I want to be on the team! So do I. Well, theoretically, I really want to be on the soccer team as well. Well, I'm sure you can imagine that only the best trains will be in my team, George. Which means only those who are like me. Fantastic! Do you uh. think you're like me? Yeah! Yeah! I also like speed! Ha <laughs> ha! Yoo-hoo! I'm fast as well. It's just that I'm... Well, I'm not as fast as you are, Sam Sparky. Okay. Yay! You Yay! are on the team. Yes, all right. Arnold? My wheels look just like yours. But the most important thing is that I am brave. Not as brave as you are, my friend. Okay. You are on the team as well. Uh, uh... Hmm, and you? Why do you think you are like me? Oh. Sam Sparky, you know I am not like you, but science doesn't deny that I may be like you. I promise not to let you down. No can do. I won't take you. I don't need trains who aren't like me. <laughs> oh, now, come on, George. There are only a few silly <laughs> little trains. They have the same brains as a boxcar does. You're way smarter. Well, I... I wanted to be on the team as well. Oh. Oh. We'll gather our own team and we'll kick their wheels. What do you say, George? Come on. That's right. What, so now everyone must be like you, Ethan? Oh, no, just the opposite. No similarity. We need differences in our team. How different from me are you, huh? Everything. I am bigger than you, slower than you, I go to bed earlier, and I don't like books about pirates. I'm totally different from everyone. I study differently, I say intelligent words which no one understands mostly, and, well, as for soccer, I play differently. So it proves that you should be in our team for sure, George. Great, mm -hmm. wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> That's really great, and I'll be the referee. Arnold can't reach the ball because he's really fat. Fantastic will lead the ball, but he will make a mistake. Ethan and Anthony will take the ball from him and will start an attack. Sam Sparky will try to intervene and he will kick the ball over here. So according to the calculations that I made here, if I stay right over here, I will surely score a goal. Quick, Come on. quick! Hurry, give me the Come ball! On, I I want to take it! Come, Come on, take it! it. Uh, oh. Goal! Goal? Hooray! Yeah! Yeah! One minute is left till the game is over. Hey. Come on, come on, do it. Give me the ball. Go, go kick it. Yeah, oh. go, go. Come on, guys. Go. Goal. Goal. Yay. Goal. We hit it. Go. We just lost. That's it. Hooray. Hooray. We, won. we won. We won. What were you doing? What you told me. You said that. Hey, cheer up, guys. You know, it was just a game. But remember, being different is much, much better than being similar. That's, That's right! right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. We can't go any further. Huh? Why can't we? Because when a trolley can really? cut your way, it brings you bad luck, that's why. Whoever crosses this line will get rusty on the spot. I am not superstitious. Therefore, therefore I shall not cross this line. I don't want to get rusty. I, I don't want to get rusty either. My mom will yell at me if I come home all rusty. Whoever wants to get rusty may go ahead. I am going back home. Coming with me, anybody? <gasps> Hold on. If it goes forward, we are trapped. There'll neither be a way back nor forward. Let's shoo it and scare it away. Shoo, shoo. It'll run back. That'll help for sure. 
Yeah, but what if it runs towards us? Hmm, then we shall bait it. I'm the best trolley trainer ever. Watch me. Trolley can, trolley can come here. Good boy. Don't be scared. I'm getting something good. Don't move. I'll catch it when it comes closer. A little closer to me. Chill, chill. Oh, no. Hmm, well, I've been thinking, what if Sam Sparky won't catch it? Hmm. So I did it. Just look what you've done now. It's gone. We have to chase it in the forest. The jinx holds its power until the trolley kin is back. All right, we got it. Let's scatter now, one by one, and later meet in our usual place. I mean, the usual place on the road, of course. Oh, where did it go? Oh, I think I'm gonna rest by that pretty stub over there. Ouch! So much for the rest. Hey, Trolleykin! Where are you, Trolleykin? Are you over there? Oh, how amazingly beautiful. The flowers are gorgeous. Oh, and they have five leaves. Just look at that. An old belief says that if you eat up a five-leaf flower, it brings you good luck. I read that the nettle is not prickly for little trains. And I'm going to check this up right now. Oh, 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 it is prickly. Ouch, it stinks so bad. Ow, ow, ow. This jinx trolleykin, I'll show him. No, you won't get away from the great hunter. I shall put a delicious bait for you right over here. Ouch! <laughs> hey, you, the bad luck vectors. Catching some tan, are you? I'll get you, you jinxes. <laughs> 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 Great time we had, I'm telling you. Hey, what do you think you're doing over there? Oh, good job. A little train from clay, if me. Looks very natural. <laughs> Take this guy in a cage to the zoo. All righty now. Goodbye now. Achoo. Grandpa Billy, hold on. Tell us, do you believe in omens and jinxes? Well, we, the old trains, don't believe in such stupid things. Neither should you, you young ones, huh? Achoo. Do you really mean that? I've eaten the whole meadow and it was all in vain? And I, did I fall into the swamp for nothing? These stupid beliefs only get us into trouble. I think we should invent some smart beliefs. Sunny, wake up, dear. Come on, wake up. Hey, guys, I'm leaving now. I'll see you in the evening. Bye-bye, darling. Hey, Dad, wait a second. <sighs> oh, dear. I didn't say goodbye to my dad. What happened, darling? It's the toothpaste. It just wasn't tasty. Why didn't you take the tasty one? We ran out of the tasty one. <laughs> hey, George! Hey, George! Come on out! Hey, George! Hello there, Ethan. Oh, hi there. Is George at home? You know, my dear, his father and he went to the museum today. Oh, boy. Why is he in the museum when I want to play? <laughs> Ethan, why are you so gloomy today? Today is unlucky. It's my unlucky day. Is something wrong? Everything's wrong. It couldn't be any worse. You see? There 
There you have it. It's even worse now, Vera. Well, you can't do anything about it. You might become unlucky for the rest of your life. What can I do about it? Well, I really don't know. Well, well, do something that you're really good at. Just break the bad luck that way. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <coughs> Oh, look, it's Grandpa Billy. Why is he standing in the rain? And he's tilted on one side. <gasps> Grandpa Billy, are you all right? Oh, no, he's sick. Stay with him, and I will go for technical assistance. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right. Thanks so much. So, Ethan, how's your unlucky day going? It's not that unlucky, Vera. I just got up on the wrong side. Let's go play! Hooray, let's play! <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? The flowers on the other side. Mm -hmm. Look how beautiful they are. They're amazing. Mm. Hey, George, you're the smartest one here. Maybe you know why there are no such beautiful flowers on this side. This is the mystery of nature. Is it an unsolvable mystery of nature, George? Scientists have been working on that for a long time. But for now, uh, there's no answer. Too bad. I dreamt to have a bouquet of those beautiful flowers one day. Red, yellow, blue flowers, and violet ones. Why do girls love flowers so much? It's strange. Ethan, let's go. Hmm. Huh? Hey, George, I really, really want to pick those flowers for Vera. But how? I will jump over the river. Hmm? Huh? It's called a springboard. A springboard? Yes, that's right. I will go up and land on the other side of the river. It's risky, but my mind's made up. <gasps> George, what are you doing? Ethan, I remembered. There's a bridge already that goes over the river. Why didn't you tell me about it? The bridge is very old, and it's very dangerous to use it. Okay, well, where is it? It's not a good idea. Oh, hey, hey, hey! Ethan, let's not do this. Don't be afraid, George. I'm a small train, and the bridge will hold. At least I think so. Oh! <gasps> I didn't think that Ethan was so brave. I didn't. Now, that's not what I would call bravery. Well, can't you see how unstable it is? Huh? I would never do it in my life. Uh -huh. I'm sure this is the bouquet for Vera. She'll be so glad to have it, I'm sure. Hey, Arnold, come back. You're not the only one who's brave, Harry. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. It's fine. You would do the same if you were me, Arnold. I'm sure of it. Sure, but you lost the bouquet because of me. Never mind, it's okay. I'll pick some more. How can you do that when the bridge is broken? I know, but Arnold is ashamed anyway, and I said that so he wouldn't feel so guilty. He feels bad enough as it is. Ethan, George, 
Look at my beautiful bouquet. It's made of flowers from the other side of the river. Where did you find it? I was sitting by the river, and the flow brought it right to my side. I guess someone made this bouquet and accidentally dropped it into the river. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Now I believe that all dreams sometimes come true. Ethan! Yeah? I wanted to tell Vera that it was you who made the bouquet. What for? Why does she need to know who made it for her, or if it was or wasn't made for her? Her dream came true, and that's what's important. Hey, friends! Press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.